Most people in America are familiar with what a priest is when it comes to Catholicism, but they don't really know what a priest is when it comes to Lutheranism. In reality, they're very similar, but a Lutheran priest or Lutheran pastor or Lutheran minister wears a collar but can be married, whereas a Catholic priest is rarely married. A pagan priest can definitely be married and sometimes thrice, but that's not the point. The point is that in life, we have choices, and those choices bring about our life. The difference between a man of God and a man of Satan is pretty clear, pretty easy to rectify in seconds if you're unclear. A man of God will never hit with more than words of rebuke when it's appropriate and when it's warranted. But a man of Satan will hit with his fists and harm a woman. And that's not okay by me. You see, I might be a marvelous martial artist. I might have a black belt and a degree. I might have some extra colored arts, if you will, or colored belts and other martial arts. I might have studied in Japan, Naginata. I might have studied in Japan, Karate or Kenpo Karate with my Kampura master. But the reality was, he was a chef and he still taught me a hell of a lot. And openly, he really was perfect in the art. He was a perfect Bushido man, a perfect man of balance, of arts and of science, of martial arts. But that's not my point. My point is that a real man doesn't need to hit. A real man doesn't need to say anything more than, I love you, get your ass here. And a real man is what a real man does, not at all. A real man is how he loves his wife, how he cares for his son, how he handles his business, and how he tries to care for as many people as he could. Notice I didn't rhyme with everyone, because I can't care for everyone. I'm simply caring for myself. I'm caring for some geese right now, who are marvelously nice to me, and come when I call them. They know their names by now. Thank God, because God gave them to them. But that's not my point of humor. My point of humor is that you know the right to judge me. I'm not judging you, I'm observing you. And by observing you, I'm just telling you what I see. I'm telling you what I comment on, and I'm telling you what I know about common sense and the development of men. That I am a developer of men. Most of my students were young men. It's true. Most of the demographics I served were affluent. That is true. But openly, that's not the point. You see, you have to target the right people in order to have a longevity of a business. But please, don't come and play with an old man, because I've seen just about everything I could possibly see in my own son. It wasn't the most marvelous time for me, but he's still mine, regardless of the fact of the passage of time.